What's up? My name is Technova here for Troubleshoot, and in today's video, I'm going to be covering a highly requested topic that I've just never really got around to. What exactly is it? Well, if you simply look down at the bottom of this video, the actual video block itself, at the play bar, you'll notice that it's split up into multiple chapters or segments. How exactly do you do that? Well, it's rather super simple, and it's actually really easy to retroactively do on your previous videos, as long as you put a bit of time into it. How exactly do you get your videos split up into chapters? Well, before I get there, I'll go ahead and give you a couple of examples. This over here is my YouTube channel. I'll simply open up my latest video, and a slightly longer one that's a little bit older, and I'll open up the actual video itself. So over here, we have the upload from yesterday, a quick fix for CSGO, and as you can see, the video play bar at the bottom over here is split up, explanation, the issue, etc, etc, and as you hover over them, they'll sort of separate themselves, and it makes it really easy to jump to the right times in the video. If I go ahead and have a look at this 10 minute video over here, you can see that the video is split up into quite a few sections. As you can see, there's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and they can get as small as you want. How exactly do you do this? Well, if we scroll down to the description of this 10 minute video, you'll see at the bottom over here, I have timestamps. If we have a look at this four minute video over here that's split up into segments, expand the description, we also have timestamps over here. This is literally all you need to do. Don't worry, you don't need to include timestamps. All you need is a description that includes a set of times and descriptions. Now, as far as I know, there's a couple of rules that apply to this section over here. First of all, it can be literally anywhere in your description as long as it's in your description and it has to be in chronological order, starting at 0, 0, 0. So 0, colon, 0, 0. Then you can have text after it, or before it, depending on what you'd like to show when. Note that you can put text in between lines of timestamps, though every bit of text that isn't following a timestamp or right before it won't be included in the actual chapter or segment title. The format doesn't really matter, as far as I know, you can use a colon, a hyphen, anything else, I just do it this way. I have the timestamp, space, hyphen, space, and then a description for that chapter, and that's exactly what shows up here in the actual play bar itself. As long as it's starting at 000, all of the ones after it in chronological order will be counted as chapters or segments. It needs a minimum of three characters after the timestamp to be counted as a chapter, and it works for basically any video length, though after a certain point, I'm not too sure when, with enough of these timestamps in the description below, the video will just not split up into chapters as there's too many of these in the description. As for where that limit is, I have absolutely no idea, but if you get to that point and you have a ton of these, try removing a couple of them and keeping the chronological order. And what happens if your video is, say, more than 10 minutes long? Well, let's go ahead and find one. Over here, we have a 17-minute video tutorial on the GTA 5 Natural Vision mod. As you can see in the description, we have timestamps starting from 0 all the way up to 17 minutes 04 over here. If we go ahead and open up the actual video link, you can see that the play bar is successfully split up into chapters past the 10 minute mark all the way up to 17. Having a look at the description, I have 0 colon 0 0 all the way up to 17 colon 04. As for whether you can start it with 0 0 colon 0 0 or you need to include a trailing zero before a single number as such over here with one, two, four, seven, I'm not entirely sure, but any changes that you make here after saving them and refreshing your video should start to work after a couple of seconds of editing the description. Getting these chapters to show up really is quick. With that being said, if I were to go ahead and edit any one of my previous videos, add chapters to the description, it ends up cutting up the video into different sections rather quickly and it should show up within a few seconds. Why exactly do I say that? Well, because a lot of creators already have timestamps in the descriptions of their videos just to make it easier for viewers. And that's originally what I had long before this was a feature. Though if you haven't got these done in previous videos of yours, then it may be worthwhile going back and adding them. What videos will they be useful for? Well, obviously not really short meme videos or things like that, but longer tutorial videos or videos that need to be split up into sections, chapters, news reports, etc, etc. These timestamps can be incredibly useful, not just for people who scroll down to the description, but just because it splits up the play bar over here. Obviously, this has the positive side effect of getting people to watch more of your video because they can simply skip through a 17 minute video instead of seeing that it's 17 minutes long and deciding to close it on the quest for a shorter video that may not explain whatever you're trying to explain as well. 
So a couple of notes with this, obviously there's no limit to really what you do with this feature. You can do literally anything you want with it. It doesn't have to be chapters. It could even just be jokes in the timeline. It could be literally anything. A couple of tips from me, make sure they're nice, short and simple, easy to read, so that when users hover over them in the play bar, they're not entirely distracted from the video trying to understand what's going on. I try and keep mine as simple and easy to understand as possible, but of course that may not always be the case. And whether you have access to this feature in the first place isn't entirely known. In the beginning, they were rolling this out from user to user, but it's been a couple of months since this started becoming a feature. As for whether you'll have it on your channel or not, there's really only one way to find out, and that's to attempt it for yourself. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found this video useful, my name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!